Eat cream corn. Get, uh, eat cream I don't corn. know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my finger. You look adorable in this little hat you're wearing. <laughs> make make a tiger noise. No, I will not. What? I meant to film your feet. Do you think they're like police officers on the feet? Absolutely not. Oh, rude. Rude, dude. Her shoes are dirty. Well, you know, I'm a hardworking lady. What do you work hard on? I work hard on taking care of animals. <laughs> so nice of you. Yeah. So like, kind. well, sometimes cats and sometimes dogs. Sometimes the big ones, like the cows. Are you a vet tech? <laughs> I am wanting to be one someday. Um, and that's why my shoes are dirty, so you should apologize to them. Is that poop? You, sh I'm, you should apologize to my shoes. I'm sorry. But they they, no, they didn't really believe bad. it. They I don't really poop like Poop face. I will have poop face. I will have poop face. <laughs> <laughs> I love poop face. Mmm. Oh. I mean, I've been on my way to Salado. I mean, fuck. I'm about to reach Salado. And uh, I get to go see my best friend. Well, she was my best. I mean, I guess she's, she is my best friend, Rachel. Uh, I can't wait to see her. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, I'm here. I made it. I'm really excited. I'm really nervous. Um, I feel like I'm gonna barf a little bit. Yeah. Can't wait to see you though. It was like the last few months in the Peace Corps, but it was the nights alone when I couldn't go to sleep, when I realized that I really needed her to understand me. And I wanted to understand her. And I wanted her to feel safe with me and be comfortable with our friendship. Home doesn't have to be a place. Oh, shit. Hi. Howdy. I'm Kayla. I'm John Anderson. This is my wife, Mary. Hi, Kayla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What can we do for you? Uh, I was looking for Rachel Perkins. Does she still work here? Is she around? No one told you? 
Rachel passed away. What? I'm so sorry, dear. She was found in the creek about six months ago. No one let you know? What happened? We think it was an accident. John found her floating in the creek down by the fallen tree. I'm so sorry. Would you like us to take you there? <laughs> She wasn't very talkative. She stuck to herself pretty often, and she didn't talk about her family very much either, except for her brother, John Michael. And uh, I think she really missed him. She mentioned that she did, and she told us about her travels. Yeah. She had traveled in Europe and Asia. The creek's mm -hmm. just around the way. Rachel used to love coming down here. We found her here. Kayla, would you like to stay for supper? Rachel loved these horses. What are their names? This one is Barbie, and the other one is Tex, with the white on his nose. Yeah, she was great with these horses, and they loved her too. We enjoyed Rachel being here. You know, she was an intern for the local vet in town and came out and well, this last summer, she was learning about how to take care of the horses and she did such a great job with our horses. We do that on a pretty regular basis, have young people come out while they're interning and they stay here at the ranch and it's a joy for us. Yeah, she seemed really troubled about something maybe that had happened with you guys. And... We should head in. I think you should stay here tonight, sweetie. This is 
where she stayed. We kept that in here. Her brother came and got what was left of her stuff. A few weeks before it happened, she began giving her things away. Her clothes, her TV, so much stuff. Maybe she was planning another trip and just didn't want to be tied to things. Well, if you need anything, we're right down the hall. The bathroom's right next to your room. I'll set some towels out in case you'd like to shower. Thank you.
This episode by Sterling Johnson, Casey Crowley, it's the last thing I it's a- Curtis Locklear. <laughs>